Hey all, it's Tim Fuxa. Welcome to Axe, Bow, and Staff. <clears throat> this is a game by Cluecat Games, and they're the same guys who basically did Dungeon Up, which I did a let's play of, a quick let's play of, you know, a little bit, a bit ago. Um, essentially this is a game that's inspired by Lost Vikings, Adventure Island, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, and Captain Commando. And essentially it's all about bringing about the nostalgia of, like, you know, your youth, so to speak, for many people. This is a game arriving in October, and it's going to feature online multiplayer, though, um, right now that's in, like, sort of beta right now. And it's essentially going to be a hybrid combining runners, runner side scroller mechanics with, uh, RPG elements. So, I'll note this is an already, like, game I'm basically showcasing, I was basically giving a key to basically show, show this game off. And I'll also note that this is also, yes, the developer that, actually, that, you know, I've done, like, you know, another Let's Play game of, so... I'll throw that out there, I do have some connections with this developer, but... Whatever. Let's see what this game's all about. And you can judge what you think about it. It's a new game. It's a time of wizards and goblins. A time when a man could walk off the flat edge of the earth and not be sure of where he'd end up. Possibly just near his side, like a flat coin. Gravity being what it is and all, but gravity hasn't been invented yet. Sounds about right. It's also tea time. As I'm writing this, so forgive me if, I, if there are some crumbs. Where was I? Oh yes, time! Well, wandering through the woods, uh, it's a good time to remember that penicillin, antibox, and hand sanitizer haven't been invented yet. So you should probably try and stay away from the wildlife. Some of those things bite. Really hard. They smell like three week old socks, soaked in mully cheese water. The smelly creatures might be goblins, it's hard to tell. Of all the mud and dirty and dirty, um, dirty and cheese water and such. So that's mud and dirt, but whatever you guys spelling error. It's time to begin the story, which starts at the edge of the universe before spiraling down the galaxies and cosmic stars, sailing by to find a world that's possibly flat or shaped like a ball. Because no one is sure, because no one has actually gone to the edge of it to find out, and I've just run out of tea in my pot. Pretty good introduction. And here's my warrior. You can press the spacebar to speed up. And you die if you take too long to basically move around, that's good to know. Okay, I need to figure out what the controls are, so let's just go in here. Controls, so basically J, K, and L, and R are basically like your controls over here. Move down is basically um, S, move up is W. Move forward is D, move backward is A. And then speed up time is like, you know, spacebar, of course. Switch to next hero's tab, switch to previous hero's ship plus tab. Alright, so, they need a tutorial, but, you know, this is a game that's, like, not yet out, so to speak, so... It's a little bit of, like, you know, problems like that, I'm not gonna, you know... Get on your case for that. Alright, I need to figure out how to attack, I guess. And I actually took out my, uh, music there with, like, one of my keys. That's probably something I know, by the way, you shouldn't have your, um... Uh, you know, music key probably next to where it is is. So, a little bit of things if they need to fix it around, but whatever. Um, fire one, two, three, use item. So, how do you play? I will be right back while I figure this out. I am back. I think I figured figure out what I need to do here. So, something I know is I think that Barbarian basically is like, you know, um, not working yet. Maybe. I don't know why, basically, like, you don't see a keyboard for these guys. But if you go to, like, over here, you'll notice that this guy's a keyboard. So you guys should play, like, the ranger here in, like, level 1 or 2. So let's do that. Alright, so here's my guy. Basically what this game's all about, you're basically, like, you know, traveling down a road. Doing stuff. There's a bit of arrow fire. You can jump as well. I notice I have like cooldowns on my spells here or my, my abilities, so you can't jump like repeatedly. You'll actually run out of like you know um, skill use basically at the bottom there, as you see.
Now here's where I basically get second, second path, which I basically use to um, get extra coins. Yeah, as you can see, this is like how the game sort of like played. You're basically like, you know, um, dodging stuff and moving along. Ow. I should probably move around a little bit when I get the chance, but whatever. Did you believe I missed that big coin? Get that one. And yeah, basically, like, you move around past, basically doing stuff. And it's gonna have multiplayer in it eventually. There's a potion or something. Now, I think, like, potions you use, like, with, like, you know, your, um, R key or whatever. There's full HP. Now at the top you can basically see that I'm like getting very close to um, winning slowly. Basically you got that real red toggle telling you how far you are along the level. You gotta stop the elven archer. He's a think he's an elf. He has pointy ears. What happens if they hit a rock? Uh oh, what's gonna happen here? Level clear! So I guess that's the end right there. Yeah, that's basically what this game's gonna be like. You're basically using, like, you know, um, real milk. World map, you see this a little bit. It's basically very, like, look at this stuff. What are heroes made of? Who can say? Every drill dream begins somewhere, and sometimes it begins with an invisible map and very global subject. So, I guess this is like, you know, something spe special, but whatever. What did you expect? This is not the kind of story. Laugh a little. Introducing heroes is an important part of getting to the next punchline. Goblin Archer. And we got this guy. Alright, there might be something about the Crystal Forest that someone's not telling you. Something happening below the surface. Nearby Onyo. Alright, let's go to the wizard. Uh, am I gonna get spells eventually? Or he's silenced, he guess. Press J, teleport, and enemy to another lane. So I can teleport guys. Oh, you can kill him with spikes. Cool. I did that wrong. Now I guess the wizard can't, like, jump over stuff, so... Gotta be careful of that. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, what that button does. That's how I get out of here, apparently. Oops, I'm uh, silenced again. So hold just and press S to uh, teleport target to any lane. Now move the enemy to switch button to open barricade door. Alright, so this is like a puzzle a bit right here. So, press J and S. To do that. Well, I sort of did that right. Let's move him right there. Yeah, the wizard can't like move or anything, so gotta be careful with using him. That worked out well. Now I bet that's like push him down at the next like bit right there. So, alright, press K to dispel all negative effects. K is but basically lets, lets me dispel. So caution. Audios are plants, so they can't be teleported. So you can't teleport plants. Good to know. Plants are evil. Good 
Get that. Um. Let's go right by this guy. Let's slow it down. I bet speed does actually make you get more score, but we're just trying to get through this to basically show it off what the game's all like. I should slow down a little bit too much there. Uh oh, I took the wrong path and I died. See, yeah, those guys will block your wizard and they can't move, so. Hey, that's a checkpoint. Okay, that's good to know. So those things are checkpoints that basically let you, like, you know, do stuff. Come back to life, you know, at points in the game. There are checkpoints in the game. Good to know. Ow. There's a heal up. Let's teleport him there so he can't... ...do stuff. We're almost already at the wizard, so basically this is like, you know... ...the wizard's basically the showcase. I bet the warrior's gonna have like more action-y type of things going on. Like he's gonna probably gonna button smash things. And there's the end of this level. Free the crowd, free and one. And we'll map. It's basically like stars depending on how you, well you do, I guess, so. Alright, you found the cave. Quick, explore it before it explores you. Watch out for rats, not just golem down there anymore. Golem bomber. Alright, so I'm gonna have an AI way here, so let's try this. Let's see what it's all about. So wizard joins the warrior, I guess. So I bet I have to basically get the wizard out of here alive, so I have to basically use my warrior to basically do stuff. Let's do this thing. Yep. Alright, how do I do this? Basically bash down. Killed all! So watch out, because the warrior, you know, can't kill everything in one shot. Press tab to switch between heroes, so I basically teleport that guy. Alright, so here we go, we got the uh, wizard going. I'll teleport him there. Alright, so there's like a bit of like, you know, butt mashing. We have to basically like, you know... I hear... This is where like multiplayer will probably come in. You basically have to, you know, like, decide who's in front or who's in back. Use AD to move backward and forward. Hero can't use scale when he's in the back of the line. Alright, so basically the wizard's in the back of the line right now, so... He'll be using it now. There we go. That worked out well. There was a false mirror. It's a pretty cool game. We're killing lots of goblins. I've only got a little bit through, but basically get the idea of what the game's gonna be all about. So A and D lets you move, you know, your heroes basically, like, you know, in front or in back. When lock icon shows, it means the hero can't move to another lane. That's good to know.
Alright, note to self, I can't be... Um... Too uncareful here. There's a checkpoint! Boom! Ooh, stuff! I gotta stay here for the... Uh, goblin. So it looks like the warrior has very quick cooldowns, I guess. Um... That sort of worked. Kinda. Kind of being the ejector word there. I heard a little bit, but whatever. Kill it all. Angry face. I uh, will avoid those rats because there's way too many. Apparently I lost the warrior there. Not just this guy, apparently. So yeah, you want you can't actually lose characters, I guess, if you're not careful. And ooh, there's another guy. Horrifying. Sad face. What's this? A cat? That's fun to watch. Kill him, cat! Kill him! Go! I'm just gonna bet that, you know, the cat has something to do with, like, you know... The developer being, like, you know, Clue Cat Games. There's a checkpoint. This should be the last one before we get to the end. Happiness. Yes, we love our kitties. Level clear! Alright, so that's basically what the game's gonna be like, you know, basically, you know, in a nutshell, so to speak. As you advance more and more, you basically get fired into the map. And it looks like there's a shop and an upgrade thing for other stuff as well. Let's go look at it just to see what it's all about. Alright, so there's like my inventory, but basically I guess I can like, you know, buy their sell stuff. Like there's all this different stuff to basically do. And upgrades, basically, um, upgrade time. These guys are all level 1, doesn't really matter. Alright, so that's basically like Clue Cat's, um, Axe bow and staff. They'll be available in October sometime, who knows when, but uh, you know, if you're into these like neat types of like, you know, little puzzle type of games, this might be for you. And it's got a little bit of humor too. Anyhow, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care.